Hey everyone, it's another day, it's another crazy day with more crazy news. And folks, I don't know if you saw on Tuesday with Biden giving his speech on Tuesday, but oh my gosh, that was really something. And so here's the headline uh, that I've come across that is a result of Tuesday. Biden taunts brave right-wing Americans saying they'll need more than guns to fight the government. If you can believe that. And ay, 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 it's just more and more talk here. So look, let's let's go right to exactly what uh, Biden said in that speech. For those brave right wing Americans that say it's all about keeping America, keeping America independent and safe. If you want to fight against the country, you're going to need an F-15. You need something a little more than a gun, said Biden. Unbelievable, that's that's an absolute uh, taunt. And yeah, it definitely did have some, some backlash uh, in this and there were, there was a, a congressional candidate, his name was Blake Masters, he ended up, um, he commented on Twitter, I believe. His comment was, this is the logic of an authoritarian. He is correct. We have bombs and missiles, you won't stand a chance. Therefore, surrender your puny guns. And if you look at it, if you think back, I mean, that's what this whole Second Amendment thing is all about. You know, they really are trying to make uh, conservative America as just extremists. And having a, you know, it, it almost seems like that what they're doing in, uh, with a statement like that is they're trying to almost create a situation for war. Bring it on, bring on the war, yeah. Truth is, People don't want war, nobody wants war. People want peace. The problem is, a lot of these leftist policies that are coming down, for instance, if you wanna talk about the, the education in schools, uh, and I'm not talking about education. Uh, <laughs> you wanna talk about the, the electricity, carbon garbage and the climate stuff, and it's like, you know, anybody with a brain can really see through this kind of stuff. Look, if you just even focus on climate control alone, that has been debunked. They've been shouting this from the rooftop since the 70s. We were supposed to be frozen in the 80s. Here we still are. Now listen, will God step in in this time, in this moment? I don't know. I really don't know. I, I wanna say yes, but I will remind you all of how many times, again, more stories in the Bible. What usually came before God actually did step in? I think the story of Noah is absolutely great where Noah was told to go to a city and preach the gospel. Noah didn't want to do it. And he eventually did it, obviously. And what did they do? What did the whole city do? They repented. We need to get back to our moral compass, which is the Bible, and be praying to God and say, please lead us, direct us in your ways, not our ways, but in your ways. Because I'm telling you, if we start doing that as a nation, and I, it's possible that it's not too late, but if we do that as a nation, and that is my hope in all of this, Wow, this could be the most amazing time for America if we really just got down on our knees and repented. Folks, that's my word today. I hope it brings a little bit of encouragement for you. Look, I don't know where it's all gonna go, but uh, look, I think it's just sound advice. Be grounded in Christ, if anything. That's probably the best advice that I can give. What does God want you to do in this mess? The mess is not gonna stop. It's always gonna be here until Jesus comes back, but... Uh, I keep praying. Folks, like this, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate your comments in all of this and hope to see you next time.